Morning, hot dogs. It's Monday. Decca and more after the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There will be an academic Super Bowl meeting call out tomorrow in Ms. Kramer's room, 155. This is an academic team that competes in the subjects of math, science, language arts, social studies, and fine arts. If you're interested, please make sure to attend this call out or to contact Ms. Kramer. There will also be a sad call out meeting on Wednesday in Ms. Kramer's room. Here is your winner 2024 homecoming court. King, Keaton Myers, Carlos Lopez, Eli Grasham, Garrick Burge, and Evan Wainscott. And for Queen, Sara Flores, Daisy Vasquez, Tessa Stefanos, Jocelyn Cazares, Leah Carreras, and Leah Carreras. Check your email to vote for one King and one Queen candidate. Voting closes at 2.45 tomorrow. DECA cookies are back open for business, and DECA looks forward to seeing you between periods 6 and 7 at the, at the cookie cart. Now, to Huddy for sports and weather. Howdy, howdy, everyone. It's another start to a week here as a Frankfurt hot dog. Feels good, man. This morning, there was a call-out meeting for track. If you'd like to participate in track and field this year, which I think you definitely should, and you couldn't come to the call-out meeting, just go talk to Mr. Byers down in the English hallway. Get all your friends to join, too. To hop right into the action on Friday night in the girls' boys' varsity doubleheader, to begin the night, the ladies unfortunately fell to conference opponent Ledman with the score of 14 to 45. Defensive consistency continued to be a positive for the Hot Dogs, led by Ashley Vasquez Rivera's intensity from the guard position and Vanessa Guardaro's willingness to front the post and make things tough underneath, which led to the team getting 15 steals in the night. Throughout our defensive intensity, we were also able to force Ledman into 20 turnovers. Leading in scoring was Ella McAtee and Syra Flores, and leading in rebounds was Vanessa Guardardo. Shortly after the girls' game, the boys took on the Tigers as well, and unfortunately fell with a score of 54-69. to The boys fought hard, and the game was within close quarters for the first three quarters, but the dogs couldn't hold on and fight to close the game out. Great effort, Gaties and gentlemen. Sadly, there are no hot dog sporting events tonight, so that'll be it for me today. Hope everyone has a magical Monday, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now to Edwin Wayne's scoop for weather. Welcome back, Hot Dogs. I'm here with the weather report. It will be a high of 37 and a low of 34. The winds will be pretty high today as they'll be ranging from 8 to 19 miles per hour, along with no sunshine today. That's all for me. Now to Los. Thanks, guys. Oh, and by the way, there's a big broadcast tryout on January 24th, so mark your calendars. And for lunch today, in lines 1 and 2 is chicken nuggets, and in lines 3 and 4 is bis biscuits and gravy. And a happy bir birthday goes out to nobody, as it's no one's birthday today. And that's all for the announcements today, dogs. Make sure to have a magical Monday. 